Hey guys, Jarek here and welcome to the Airsoft Weekly Update number 20. I got a lot of news about this channel, so I'm going to try to get through that real quick and get to the actual Airsoft news, so just stick with me. So first things first, an update on the WEM9 that literally exploded while I was firing it. So I RMA the gun and I got some information back that is a bit mind-boggling to me. Apparently, this is a common manufacturing error. The gun exploding in a potentially harmful and dangerous way is a common manufacturing error. That is crazy to me. And it really speaks volumes about WE's quality control. They didn't even test it enough to see that their gun might explode. The reason it is common is because there is a structural weakness in the back of the slide. And I noticed it myself after it exploded. The rear sight is about all that's holding the gun together. Once that rear sight pops off, and you can see it in my video, once that comes off, the whole rest of the slide explodes with it. That's pretty much all that's holding that slide together. That seems like common sense, even for me, and I don't have a whole lot of extensive knowledge about really building airsoft products like WE has, because they put a new product out every month, it seems like. You'd think they would know better than that, but apparently they are working on a Generation 2 to solve the issue. Uh, I've gotten a few comments, people asking if I've gotten any word from WE. They've said nothing negative or positive to me. They didn't, you know, ask me to take the video down. They didn't apologize. I've literally heard nothing from them. On the other side, companies like ICS are very good at this type of thing. I actually cut my finger pretty bad on an ICS grenade and made a video about it years ago. And uh, very quickly, I got a response from ICS, an email basically saying, hey, we're, we apologize for what happened. Uh, if there's anything we can do, uh, let us know. We're changing our grenades, so this won't be an issue in the future. And generally, they were very, very professional and uh, very uh, personal at the same time. WE, not exactly the same. So. They're not the best of quality companies when it comes straight down to it, but I'm not going to stop making reviews of products, and I'm going to be completely unbiased if I get any more WE products, which I guarantee you I will because they have a ton of products released. With that said, hold off on buying that Barry Burton M9 Custom from WE until you know the second generation is actually better. Apparently the second generation won't come out until a few more months, so I ordered another gun and R made it for something entirely different, so you're not going to be seeing full reviews on that for quite a while, if at all. However, the gun you'll be seeing reviews of this week is of this. Now, this may look like a standard G&G Combat Machine M4. You've seen tons of these before, but this one's a little bit different. This one is a gas blowback. So you'll be seeing reviews of this one this week. I've actually shot it and I've already gotten the, uh, the kind of the teaser of just shooting the video and just kind of showcasing the gun done. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the rate of fire. I'm pretty impressed with it in general, and I'm sure you will be as well. It's pretty damn good. I'm selling this one. It's only 140 bucks for a Gas Blowback M4, that's pretty damn good. After I make videos of the Gas Blowback M4, you might not see stuff coming out of this channel for a little bit of a while. The reason being is that I'm putting my money into upgrading my computer instead of getting new airsoft stuff to review and then selling them off later. Uh, it, my computer is probably getting to the point where I need to upgrade it. I don't desperately need to, but when you up, when you make as many videos as I do, you should probably keep your, your computer up to date. Right now I'm using a Linfield i5. It's not terrible, but I definitely get up a lot better and it's getting to that point where I should probably upgrade. So once I finish that, I'll be going back into the full production, making sure I have videos to release every single week and a new gun every week. Uh, so up until then, just posting here and there. Again, remember, if you want me to review anything and you want a gun yourself, you can buy it through me and uh, it helps both of us out. Which reminds me, I still have some things for sale. I'm still selling the KJW High Kappa, I'm going to drop the price of this down to $85. So if you want to buy this, $85, free shipping through PayPal. The GNG Combat Machine Gas Blowback M4, like I said, is $140. All these have free shipping. And I still have the Aliens Pulse Rifle. Let's, let me pull this out real quick for you guys. This badass thing right here. Still selling this thing. Price is $320. If you want any of these, it's simply payment via PayPal. Send me a message, a personal message on YouTube, and I'll reply to you back with how you can order it if you want it. All right, this has nothing to do with Airsoft, but I got to get a quick nerdgasm out. So for any of you Half-Life fans out there, which if you're into video games, you should be a Half-Life fan, Black Mesa Source came out. If you don't know what Black Mesa Source is, it is a complete recreation of Half-Life 1 using the Half-Life 2 Source engine, and it's a mod, so it's entirely free, and damn is it good. The whole mod is 8 gigabytes. It's a very, very large mod. It might as well be a full-on game. It really is that good. If you want to download that, try it for free. Link down below. I also had a full playthrough of it on my video game account. That's what I've been doing a lot as of late. So if you can't play it yourself and you want to see it regardless, go check out my gaming account. And uh, yeah, I got that Nerdgasm out. I had to do it real quick. It's uh, really that good of a mod. 
And from there, we move on to our good old buddy, Crazy NC Man. I just want to point out something real quick. I'm not going to talk about this very long. I get comments a lot of the time saying, stop talking about Crazy NC Man. You're just giving him more field of fire. And really, I'll just be honest here, it doesn't matter what I do. He's going to continue talking shit about me. He's, he is the literal definition of a hater, and he will always continue to try to find justification to hate on people and try to slander them in any way possible. As you see, uh, this is just, everything you're seeing here is just within the last few weeks. He always will try to slander someone whether you do something or not. And really, the only way to win, unsubscribe from Crazy NC Man, don't watch his videos, don't give him money, and tell him to go screw himself. Just ignore him. It, pretend like he doesn't exist. That's the only way you're really going to win. Because honestly, on my side, it really doesn't hurt me. I get comments like this a decent amount, where people get, you know, they look at me and they go, Oh, hey, look. That guy, he, he talks about him a lot. He must be terrible. I'm gonna go check him out, and then they find out I'm the complete opposite of what Crazy and C Man says I am. So they subscribe to me and they start watching. So thanks for the added traffic, Crazy and C Man. It actually really helps. And now we move on to the actual airsoft news. A lot of things have been showing up in stores that you haven't been able to get before. Some of the metal SMT Tavors have shown up here and there. Those have been around for a little bit of a while, but if you want a metal gearbox SMT Tavor, you're able to get them easier now. The carbine kits for Glocks, for KWA's Glock series, you can now get those on ebike.com and they've been showing up here and there. They're kind of cool looking, definitely interesting. As you saw earlier, the G&G Gas Blowback M4s for only $140, crazy price for a Gas Blowback M4, those have been showing up. G&G has finally released their F2000 with the telescope optic and I've been asking for that for a long time because it's just not an F2000 without the telescope optic. You need to have that optic on top, it's just, I really like the F2000 but without that optic, it loses a lot of its value. And the last news I want to talk about is that GMP's M14 DMRs have showed up once again, which is pretty sweet because they make one of the best, if not the best, M14. They're really high performing, great accuracy. Uh, I'm a big fan of GMP and I really like their M14s. I was very impressed with the uh, DMR I got. However, they haven't shown up in OD. They just showed up in wood and tan. And to be honest, they kind of look a little bit ugly in those colors. But hey, if you want a GMP M14 DMR, they're available. Alright, well there's been the Airsoft Weekly Update, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later for the g, &G M4 videos. Oh, sweet, can I start the Tesla coil without getting hurt and I can actually see what's going on? <laughs> That's so much better than it was in half I've won. Ha <laughs> ha